The M16 is an assault rifle that has become a symbol for the United States Army in the 1960s. The M16 was also created as a competitor to the legendary AK-47 assault rifle from the Soviet Union. The history of the M16 began in 1954 by a man named Eugene Stoner. Stoner was a weapons designer who worked as a design leader at the Armalite Company. In the fall of 1956, Armalite sent a prototype AR-10 to be tested as a candidate for a standard rifle for the United States Army. At the start of testing, the AR-10 received positive feedback due to its light weight for a rifle with a 7.62mm NATO caliber. However, despite this, the US Army preferred the M14 as the standard rifle for its soldiers. Not stopping there, a general named Willard Gordon Wyman was interested in the development of the AR-10 rifle as a military series, and Stoner continued the development of the latest AR-10 series, known as the AR-15. Stoner designed the latest assault rifle to meet the needs of the United States infantry on the battlefield. His latest design now uses a NATO bullet with a caliber of 5.56 mm. The AR-15 uses smaller and lighter bullets to reduce recoil and is suitable for automatic firing. In addition to its smaller size and lighter recoil, the accuracy of the shots produced is also improved, along with better penetration. The use of 5.56mm caliber bullets also provides added value, as it allows soldiers to carry two to three times more ammunition. The AR-15 then underwent further testing in search of a new standardized weapon for the United States Army. However, while being tested in the Arctic region, the Stoner-made weapon encountered several cheats that prevented the AR-15 from functioning properly. After the U.S. Army lost interest in the AR-15, in 1959, the Colt Company bought the manufacturing rights from Armalite and marketed the AR-15 worldwide. In the summer of 1961, General Curtis LeMay was promoted to Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, and was intrigued by a demonstration of the Armalite AR-15 rifle. General LeMay then ordered 80,000 AR-15S from the Colt Company. However, General Maxwell Davenport Taylor advised President John F. Kennedy that having two weapons of different calibers would cause problems. Therefore, General LeMay's request was rejected. But, in 1962, DARPA delivered 1,000 AR-15S to the Special Forces of the United States Forces in Vietnam. The AR-15's reception was met with a positive response, as U.S. Special Forces submitted reports from the battlefield praising the AR-15 and urging its immediate adoption. Despite ample evidence that the AR-15 had more advantages than the M-14, the Army remained adamantly opposed to the adoption of the new rifle. Until in January 1963, Secretary of Defense McNamara received a report that M14 production was insufficient to meet the needs of the armed forces in Vietnam, and M14 production was discontinued. From then on, the AR-15 finally met the requirements as an infantry weapon for all forces. The AR-15 later underwent modifications and became known as the M16. When the conflict in Southeast Asia broke out in the mid-1960s, the M16 officially became the standard rifle for U.S. Army infantry for jungle warfare operations, especially during the Vietnam War. However, there were several fatal flaws in the design of the M16 when it was used on the battlefield. Firstly, it was not equipped with adequate cleaning equipment, making it difficult for U.S. soldiers to clean the rifle from dust and mud. In addition, the failure to mass-produce 5.56mm caliber ammunition with gunpowder that matched the manufacturer's specifications forced the M16 rifle to use gunpowder with a different composition. This naturally led to malfunction problems, especially jamming problems during combat. Unlike the AK-47 used by the Viet Cong soldiers, the AK-47 was easy to clean with simple tools, and easy to repair, so jamming problems were rare. Not a few U.S. soldiers reported bad experiences when using the M16, and many of them even died in vain because their weapons malfunctioned during battle. Seeing the poor performance factor of the M16, in 1967, 
Colt finally improved the M16 by releasing a new modification known as the M16A1. The M16A1 was equipped with a chrome-plated barrel, adapted to the U.S. Army's ammunition standards, and equipped with adequate cleaning equipment. With modifications and improvements to the previous version, the M16A1 became a more reliable assault weapon. In 1968, the M16A1 slowly began to gain favor with U.S. military personnel. Development of the M16A1 continued with the release of the next series, the M16A2. The difference between the M16A1 and M16A2 is that the M16A2 is not designed to automatically fire bullets, but instead is designed to fire three bullets, in order to save ammunition and better control the recoil when firing. Thank you for watching the Explore History video about the iconoclastic weapon of the United States, the M16. If there are errors or mistakes in the video, please correct them in the comments column. Well, see you in the next video.